Hey guys! In this video, we will take a quick overview of all the tabs and functions of the Retouch Ninja plugin. Please don't worry, this is an intro video. Detailed instructions will be shown in the following tutorials. The first tab is the NeuroClick system. The NeuroClick tab is fully customizable. Here you can create your own tab, which will contain the functions you use most often. For example, this could be Photoshop functions and filters, your actions, or pre-installed actions of the Retouch Ninja plugin, which you can find in other tabs. You can click on the tab name. Now you can see the panel, which offers you various presets for button layouts. These presets are also fully customizable. You can choose the preset you like most, or you can create your own button layout. The second tab is all about different techniques of frequency separation. The manual 2FS block of this tab gives you an opportunity to create two layered frequency separation layouts using different Photoshop filters. Also, here you can find two variants of quick retouching using neural filters. If you double click on the name of the manual 2FS block, you will enter the sub tab, which is fully dedicated to the three layered frequency separation technique. The control block helps you to navigate through the frequency layers, turn the T booster layer on and off, and quickly merge all the layers after you finish your retouching. The digital skin block gives you an opportunity to create different variants of the digital texture, which you can use in cases when you over retouch some parts of your image. In the Options block, you will find dynamic templates, which you can customize for your needs, and additional helping layers. If you double-click on the names of the Digital Skin and Options blocks, you can see additional buttons, which you can customize. And finally, if you double-click on the heading of the tab, you can see the block of settings, which can also help you customize the frequency separation techniques for your needs. You can press the exclamation mark button to read more about this feature. The third tab, as you can see, contains various methods of the neural and manual fast retouch. You can adjust the opacity and the strength of the neural and manual retouch folders using the sliders on the tab. You can also choose different variants of masks that you can apply to retouch folders. For example, you can choose Skin Mask, AI Mask, Subject Mask, or Total Black Mask and paint over it only in the places you need. And in the bottom of this tab, you can find the block of buttons which enable retouch presets. The Dodge and Burn tab gives you an opportunity to use two ways of automatic dodge and burn techniques for enhancing highlights and shadows. In the manual block, you can see the buttons which create different layers layouts for your manual dodging and burning depending on the techniques you prefer. The single help block gives you an opportunity to create helping layers which you need at the moment. These layers help you see different flaws in your images more clearly. And in the Options block, you can create multiple helping layers by one click, create a dual vision setup, and customize your multiple layers setup according to your needs and workflow. 
The first block of the Tools tab is dedicated to the face retouching. Here you can find tools which will help you uniform skin tone, colorize lips, remove pores. Also, the multifunctional tool for eyes enhancement which will help you, for example, clean eye whites and change or enhance the color of the eyes. The tool for teeth whitening and the tan tool. The Effects block gives you the tools for the highlights and shadows restoration, auto local contrast enhancement, creating a film grain, and the high dynamic range function. The auto block has auto white balance and contrast tools and also can create three and four points curves for contrast adjustments. And the RGB channel block helps you to work with channels masks. The Color Correction tab contains various ready-to-use dynamic color presets. It has three blocks, which consist of 160 camera row presets. One hundred and twenty minimal tones presets, and forty duo tones presets. The vignette block helps you create auto and manual white and black vignettes as well as colored vignettes in normal or multiply blending modes. The sharpen block offers a variety of techniques to sharpen the image. And the last, the Convert and Document Save block gives you quick access to such functions as Save As, Save for Web, etc. The Interface block of this tab helps you customize Retouch Ninja plugin even more. In conjunction with the NeuroClick system from the first tab, in fact, you can create your own retouching plugin. The Tabs button gives you an opportunity to turn existing tabs on and off. And even turn on one more NeuroClick customizable tab. If you check the Camera Row and Liquify boxes, Retouch Ninja plugin will create little icons to the quick access to these Photoshop filters. You can also change the size of the font and the Photoshop color theme. The Guides and Training block gives you the access to all Retouch Ninja plugin guides and training materials. And in the other block, you can restart plugin, reset it, check for updates, and contact the developer.